Hello, everybody. All right, so I am over at the other property, and I just got done mowing it, kind of checking out all the plants, and of course the the mad field, the mad field of thistle with my blackberry bushes growing up in between them. And what I'm trying to do, sorry for kind of throwing the camera around here, uh, but what I'm going to do is I want to plant uh, some random vegetables, probably just in the sheet mulch area that goes all the way around. Um, I was just uh, planting over with the master gardeners and they were doing watermelon, so I was like, well, I guess I could do some watermelon. And I really want to have as many bean Brussels sprouts around as possible, so I'm going to do some of those. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do this eggplant and cantaloupe, uh, but I'd like to at least get some more annual vegetables around here. I'm not sure if I'll be doing a lot of these greens and stuff. I don't. This might be a project for next year to actually get an area that's set up just for leafy greens and stuff. I've obviously planted some of this some of this out already um, but not really in a controlled kind of area I did do a lot of arugula uh, I don't know if you saw the other video but right where this kind of dip is there's a whole bunch of veggies there and they're actually doing pretty well it doesn't rain very much uh, it's been dewy dewy in the mornings but it hasn't actually rained as far as I know um, but yeah I have arugula and bloody dock and all sorts of stuff in there it's all doing really well. I mean, it's sheet mulch and covered in wood chips, so it's not like the, the ground is drying out. Nothing compared to what the regular grass is doing. Um, so that's something to do today, and I'm just going to kind of randomly pick a few seeds, and uh, I'll show you a couple of the spots where I just move the wood chips aside and just plant a few seeds and go on my way. So first up... I'm going to put some strawberry or strawberries, some watermelon right here, and I'm going to put it on the edge far enough that I won't accidentally mow it down, but not so far into this because it gets really, really deep. Um, and I'm just going to do watermelons here, so kind of you can see where the mowing edge is here. I usually go around. So it's going to be difficult with one hand, but. I'm just trying to move this stuff and I won't leave it as deep um, so that the watermelon seeds or whatever can actually come through. But you can see how much, how much wood chips are here. Really need to hire somebody to hold my, hold my camera, I think. I don't have money to pay for an employee though, so I guess I'll have to, guess I'll have to do it myself. But yeah, we're right at ground level now. You can see, so I'm just going to Toss in probably four watermelon seeds there, and I'm just gonna just dust it over, probably just with a handful, maybe two handfuls. That way the seeds don't have to try too hard to get through, but they're actually planted in dirt. All right, try not to drag this out too long, but I've planted a zucchini, um, this cantaloupe, a whole bunch of Brussels sprouts, um, just kind of randomly, mostly on the edges, um, and we'll see, I mean, it's kind of on purpose that so I'm not marking them, so I want to be surprised by what grows instead of focusing on the success rate, but uh, I'm going to do eggplant and maybe tomatoes, uh, they're going to be vining tomatoes, uh, but I think I'm going to do it because there's a bush here, bush there, bush there, and there's strawberries right here, so I just want to kind of, in the middle of those, um, get a couple more things planted. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop recording there. Just to, so it's not too long of a video, and uh, I'll make another video when I see stuff popping up. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Okay. Well, I guess I kind of lied. So this is everything that I planted: the eggplant, cantaloupe, some tomato, and there's some seeds that I didn't actually plant. So I need to throw those somewhere. Peas. Black beater, zucchini, Brussels sprouts, and watermelon. And let me show you just a couple of spots. So I just kind of stuck close to the edge in some places. And these are like watermelon here. 
I did some peas right by there. I randomly put zucchini probably in all the wrong places. Um, probably there. Uh, probably put a cantaloupe there. And I'm kind of in the middle because all these bushes are pretty small. So if I could get some veggies, leafy veggies to um, kind of cover some of the wood chips and all that, some of the soil. So I did something there, don't know what, I planted something there, don't know what. I think I did more zucchini here. I planted, you can kind of tell because of the color difference in the wood chips. And also, right up front here, I planted a couple things. And these wood chips, they were thick last year, but they're very thin now. You can kind of see, oh, I got a little maple growing there. And I guess it's... I don't know, I guess another maple. But anyways, the wood chips are, they were four inches deep, and now they're just barely, barely anything now. So next year, or at least during the winter or something, I'll have to be on the lookout for <coughs> more wood chips or some other type of mulch. So we'll see, maybe in a couple weeks, we'll have some zucchini popping out of there. And uh, for sure, for sure, this is the end of this video. All right, take care, bye-bye.